What's going on, guys? This is the first podcast of we don't know what it's called yet. That's gonna be it's gonna <laughs> that's be, the best intro. Ever. Yeah, this, that's gonna be one of the topics today on uh, today's podcast. Um, you, coming up with a name. Yeah, we're coming up with a name. Uh, so me and Peter have been discussing this for like months now, and he's been really pumped lately. And I did a probably did, more pumped to do this than to like shoot a wedding uh-huh. <laughs> or anything else. So which is weird. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, you're you're done your wedding season now. So yeah, it's I did good. my last wedding last week. Yeah, or we did. Yeah, we did. I, did my I joined last wedding, you on your last wedding. Me. Yeah. So um, we've been doing this. We've been talks for this forever, and uh, people put a poll out on Instagram. I put a poll out, and we both got voted yes. Let's those do those nine people that said no. You guys don't count. Yeah. <laughs> you're still gonna watch though. Haters still. You're still watch. gonna watch, guaranteed. I know who you are. Haters still watch. <laughs> So um, we're pretty much coming up with the content here. Uh, we don't. Know, we want to base it, I guess, mostly mostly around like content creating and like yeah, basically like stuff that we shoot, mm-hmm. artists around Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff about like shooting weddings, shooting random videos, equipment. Um, Even we sp- also want to bring in other people into yeah. this. A spy, like nice aspiring. We have people. a couple people who want to come in as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just like talk about how they started doing what they do it's not necessarily about video or photo it's more like it's like video photo lifestyle and creators yeah content creators. content creators this is what this podcast is for it's just going to be aiming towards podcast creators um and just artists uh, around hamilton toronto if you end up hearing this who G- knows GTA might not, area. Might. um and then yeah for sure about like me- multimedia stuff yeah so pete came up with this idea of the set it's beautiful so this is actually where I used to do my old photography studio stuff. It didn't really look like this. I had it all set up behind me. Um, but yeah, this is where it all started. Yeah, well, should we tell them where it is? Let's tell them where it is. So we are above my dad's bike shop. Yeah. It doesn't look like a bike shop because we hit everything. Yeah. Everything is behind him and everything is behind me. <laughs> but guys, this is a good example of how like Peter came up with an idea. We came up with an idea and we made it come to life like with what we had even 40 people, minutes to set all this up yeah and i already had this those lights i bought off amazon they're basically just uh under um garage ceiling lights or something I'm not too are sure they, aren't there uh cabinet cabinet lights cabinet under, lights. under cabinet lights like balance lights yeah they work pretty good actually i'll post a link below um and and then we just got the mics headphones and then we're using two newer lights up here lighting one lighting him, one lighting me. We're using my GH5S filming this. And our mic's hooked up to the laptop. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, and yeah, and here we are. Yeah, and... Uh, our first episode. It took us a while to get it this took us a while. dual mic going, but uh, we got it going. So pretty pumped about that. Pretty pumped. And like like I said, this is the first one. So we don't really have a topic. We just got to come up with a name. Yeah, we don't have... So basically, we don't really have topics. So like when we start this, we're basically just going to start you know, talking about whatever and then just bring up a topic and we can just go from there. Maybe we'll, maybe in the future we'll Or you know what we should talk. do? We're going to we're going to be posting on Instagram and asking what people want us to talk about. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. So if you guys see this and you guys are interested in us talking about something that is related in those topics that we just recently talked about, um we would love to talk about them. Probably mostly Peter's Instagram because he's got a bigger following. My Instagram? Me. Yeah, but you can still post stuff. I'll post, but like I don't know if we'll get still post. If we'll get replies. I'm Most of my people are like from India for some reason. Yeah, they love you. <laughs> they love you. They want the Canadian feel in India. Yeah. So anyways, this is us. So my name is Peter Dubuslo. I'm, I guess we should introduce ourselves. Yeah, I wouldn't even say. <laughs> we didn't even well, introduce I said we said Dominic and Peter, but that was it. That was it. So, so this, this is, is for Dominic some- Grandoni and I am Peter Dubuslo. We are content creators in Hamilton, Ontario. We shoot weddings, uh, lifestyle portraits, um, behind the scenes. Short films. Short films, vlogs, anything that a camera has to shoot, basically, we will do it. Yeah, and uh, I do, well, we both do photos, but we I think we like film more. I can see it. I can yeah, I, like, I, I think I branched off more into the film. The films. films I don't funner. know when that was, but it happened. It's more fun. It is more fun. Because you don't have to 
when you when it comes to editing photos, it's brutal. I find it so consistent, oh, like sure. repetitive, you, you, not consistent. You light up, you, you light up their teeth. Yeah, I do <laughs> everything. You guys get free teeth whitening. Free if you guys teeth need teeth whitening. that need some whitening and don't want to spend five grand, <laughs> DJ will do it for five hundred. Yeah, in your, in your photos, <laughs> <laughs> just on the teeth social. whitening by DJ. Get your Insta game up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like I have a book of ideas, but like I got no ideas in here. <laughs> It's Look, that pen. That book, pen's making them come Ideas, play. and we got nothing in nothing. here. So that's going to get filled up. So what we should talk about is basically... Let's talk about how we both got into it. How we okay, both, yeah, I know you just perfect. did it on your recent video. Yeah. We can. Uh, are, are you going to post that video? Which one? The one we did right here. Or you don't know yet? I don't know to, which one you're talking about. No, it's okay. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? We can still talk. It says who cares? Well, I just did that for jokes. Oh, the one... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one over here that we did, uh, how you got into weddings and stuff. No, no, I wanted to do another one. Okay. So we, we recently filmed a uh, video of how I got into wedding films, but I, I, I'm just terrible talking no, in front of the camera. No, Pete's just picky. He's I'm just, picky and I'm terrible. He hates how he sounds. He sounds fun. And, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about... So how did you get into it? Me? Okay, so it all started with a YouTube commercial, believe it or not. What? And Gary Gary Vaynerchuk and as well as Craig Tyler. What, what YouTube commercial? Craig Tyler. Oh, I like I've I've had an interest in filming. I remember when you started messaging me. Yeah, yeah. So I I had an interest in like photography and stuff when I was young, but I never actually picked up a camera and like knew the whole theory behind um, ISO and aperture and yeah. shutter speed. So I seen Craig Tyler's video. It was a sick video. Like it was cool. he does make good content. I don't know if it's real content, but uh, he does make good content. And then Gary Vaynerchuk was like the guy that got me motivated, like do something, do something you love. And I was like, you know, I don't try this film thing. And like, I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but uh, I just worked hard. And even you, I don't, you even said like, I don't know how you, how you got as far oh, yeah. as you did, but like, you I did a lot more than like anyone else I've been shooting with. To be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just did that it's because you just you you go out there, you want to do it. I want to do when it, you know you want to do something, you yeah. will do it. You will pack up your camera and just go out there. Yeah. Like I remember, like like even like it was like a couple of days ago, I was sitting at home and you posted like a time lapse. Like it was just you by yourself on the street doing a, a time lapse, the one down there by. Oh downtown. yeah, the Sherman. Yeah, yeah, Sherman. Yeah, a few weeks ago. That was a few weeks ago. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, the or, sorry, it was long exposure. Oh, the long. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Long exposure I just posted it tonight. My uh, my yeah, yeah, yeah. page. But yeah, so I I just did that. I kept I kept consistent with doing that. And then, uh, I, obviously, I went to Peter for some advice because Peter's Peter's got a lot more brains. I than remember stuff than when I you messaged me. At the, I started at the Stag. Whose Stag was that? You started at the Stag. Prayer Stag. Remember, I was like, "Oh, yo, uh, what camera I got? I got a Canon, ADD and stuff." Whose oh, Stag was that? Was that uh, Ancaster Fairgrounds? I think it was Alex's. It was a Prayer's last last year. Yeah, I know. I remember I was working here. Um, and then you messaged me out of nowhere and I don't know, I think you messaged me or you messaged me on Instagram oh, maybe, or Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Then I gave you my number and we started talking. Yeah. Oh, I, I had so your me number. And DJ you were, me and D, I've known DJ for a while through like distant days. friends. Yeah. And then like I was doing photography and videos back in the day still, but not like what I was doing now. Like skater vids. I was doing skateboarding vids. Yeah. yeah. That's how, that's how it, okay, well we'll get to that. In a second. <laughs> but, um, and then you started messaging me. I'm like, Oh, DJ is doing photos now. And then I think you said Eric was doing them too. Yeah, Eric was doing. Them. Well, before you guys get confused, DJ is for Dominic Jr. because yeah, yeah. like, who's Dominic and who's DJ? So my nickname is DJ. That's why they call me DJ. So and I used to bedroom DJ, just like DJ. Yeah, yeah. DJ I with remember. Dom. Me, I remember we were at someone's house and you were DJing downstairs. Probably Dom's. No, um, I forget. It was like I don't know if it was Leonardo's or Alfonso's. We were drinking downstairs or Leo's house, but you had your DJ set. Might down be there. Uh, Leo's house. I forget. I remember. So anyways, is, is that, what else do you have? That's it. And then like pretty much um, me and Pete would been link up and just go shoot random stuff. And then he's, he wanted me to come out to shoot some weddings with him. And we've just been doing that ever since. And then I got my full-time job. This is a part-time gig for me. And this is uh, Pete's full-time thing is money maker. So Well, the weddings. The weddings is, yeah. I didn't do that. But yeah, you did like stuff. seven with me. You did seven weddings. Yeah, seven, yeah. So seven and then hopefully, hopefully some more seven, next year. Seven times, yeah. <laughs> <Gay>. so, <laughs> so anyways uh so that's how dj started um how i started was i used to skateboard back in the day and i remember watching like girl skate videos chocolate skate videos 
um, Paul Rod- Rodriguez. Like they were like a huge inspiration. And me and my brother used to skateboard and stuff. And then we were part of this rare team. And uh, God, you social goes, media, yeah. social media guys. <laughs> we were part of this rare team. And we just started skateboarding. And I remember he, uh, Dale had a skateboard. Um, Dale had a video camera. And then I bought my very first one and made my own fish eye lens. And then I remember I saved up so much money to pot, to buy the Canon GL2, which was the camera back in the day. Um, if all you videographers, you, you probably had this camera at one point. And then I saved up even more money, sold that one, and got the... The Panasonic DVX 100B, killer <laughs> camera, but only shot in 1080. Um, and then how I got into everything I'm doing now, basically, uh, I don't, I don't even know where it started. Me and Jessica started dating. We met on Instagram, kind of, and I took photos of her. And then me and her just started taking pictures, or I started taking pictures of her a lot. And then we started doing videos, like travel videos, little portrait videos, and then. Um, and then I, I just started making, like, I made this one Niagara Falls video. And then one of my neighbors came up to me and they're like, uh, Peter, we want you to shoot our wedding video. And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> they gave me 800 bucks. I didn't know how much to to uh, quote them. So 800 bucks was a lot. And I remember I bought my first DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. You had that for the uh, the Niagara Falls video too, no? Yeah. Did you almost lose it? I almost lost it. Yeah, I, I lost it. Yeah, <laughs> he I lost, lost the picture. Yeah. So and then I did that wedding video, and then after I posted that one, I, I I'm telling you, social media is huge. You post something on social media, someone that is following you is bound to like it a hundred percent. Um, even if it's like three out of 10, who cares? Three people are liking your stuff that it should mean, should mean a lot to you. Like, you know, even if you might not like it, other people out there have a different opinion on everything. Like opinion matters. So, and then that video led to four more videos last year. And then those four videos led to 21 wedding videos this year. And now it's just, it's just basically all word of mouth, Instagram, I remember I posted something on Instagram and then like literally like an hour after I got an e um I got an email from um a girl who wanted me to do her wedding video. Actually no, sorry. She was um I had her on Instagram. I don't know how and she used to go to the gym, but then she started seeing all my my Instagram posts and then she emailed me and then um and then, yeah, so I don't know if she's going to book me or not, but so it goes to show, you know, like someone could be following you that will love your work. Um, and she messaged me. So it must mean a lot that, you know, she's messaging me. She's taking the time out of her day. She must like my work, I guess, if she's inquiring. Her wedding is in 2020. Um, but hopefully she books me. It would be awesome. But I think that would be my second wedding in 2020. Oh, you have another. Cool. Oh, you're already in twenty. 20 well, 20. I have one inquiry that's like still up in the air. It's pending. 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 Okay. It's pending. pending inquiry. And then, um, and then, so yeah, that's how the wedding started. So it all started from skate videos. Yeah, for me, it was just random, random. Stuff. I started with vlogs. Actually, that was my first video. Was vlogs. Really? I did pictures. Yeah, I did. I, the first video I did was vlogs. I never did short film. Because I was all about. Yeah, we all did. Our, we did our first short film here in the bike shop downstairs. Yeah, go watch it. It's uh, it was closing up. Kind of scary. Yeah, it's called closing up. It's so on basic Peter's channel. So what's that? It's on your channel. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Um, so basically, what it's about is um, so sometimes when I would close up the shop, me myself, um, I would always get this fear of someone in the distant or by the door, someone by the door watching me close up. Because where we close the lights, it's like behind this. Um, the shelf is the behind shelf? the shelf, and I always thought someone was always watching me. You just get that feeling of you know when someone's watching you. Um, so and then I remember one day I was driving home and I called DJ. I'm like, "Yo, man, I have a sick <laughs> idea. That's it's, we can shoot at the shop. You know, we can do it whenever we want. There's lights. We don't need you know no lighting. Um, the shop is basically the sh- the studio. It's the setting, it's the bike shop. So Dom was basically 
playing as a person closing up. I was a worker. Like uh, he was a worker, the, and then he was closing shop. up, and he saw this figure in, uh, by the by the cameras. Which was me, too. <laughs> in that first shot oh, was yeah, me. Oh, yeah, that was you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for recording. Yeah. And then, um, and then yeah, so it was just an idea, and, and pe- we, got, we got decent feedback. I mean, I wasn't expecting to go to Hollywood with it. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was uh, I just... You, know, you like making something, you're going to make it. You don't need to stop and not make it because you're worried about other people. If you're worried about other people, then you're not going to make it. You're not going to make nothing. You got to do what you like to do and people will like it and they'll follow you along the journey. And then eventually it'll, it'll take off and go somewhere. Go, going, getting into that topic too. It's like, there's a niche for everything. There's people, I don't know if you guys have seen those people on Twitch. Have you seen those people on Twitch? With yeah. talking to the mics, they're like, rah, rah, they make all those okay. sounds. And yeah, that's crazy. People get paid to make sounds on a microphone. Oh, for, for like sound effects. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's 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 literally all you do is put your headphones on, and there's people you're watching people make sounds on different like like. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I forget what it's called. Oh, somebody showed it to me, and and you literally get, they get paid to make these sounds. Wow. It's crazy. But sounds for what? It's just sounds. Just so like it they, sounds they good can in use the ears. Them for whatever. No, like. It's like if you want to listen to it, it just screws with your head. It's like oh, sound effects in, on a stereo microphone. Yeah, like that's weird. I don't know if this this has the uh, the settings. I don't know the settings too well on this, but uh, this is like the third time I'm using this thing. But First uh, time. yeah, <laughs> Pete just bought it today. He's like, po- <laughs> yes, the other day he's like podcast, and then after he went to go buy, I was, on, I, was on, I was at the gym today doing cardio, checking on like Amazon specials. <laughs> then I went to uh, Long McQuaid and I saw this one. And then uh, it's nothing compared to this guy's big uh my big black one big black one. <laughs> <laughs> his big black mic <laughs> yeah. bbm bbm yeah and my Black-air small messenger. silver little ball yeah it's okay it does a trick i just got this one because it was on sale it was like 129, 129 best buy guys bad. price match at best buy. so yeah that's basically what we want to be talking about here we also want to be bringing um what's that word what value no we want to be bringing people oh guests we, we want, want to be bring bringing guests. guests in all right we have a couple people lined up um bringing photographers people just talking about how they started um that means that we would have to get them a mic somehow yeah we might have to or yeah. not get them a mic would we be able to use like one of the mics for our cameras yeah maybe yeah we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we're gonna have to get more uh, usb ports over here yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like a dock USB or something ports. at yeah. least you don't have the old macbook or the new macbooks where you need to get that yeah. stupid adapter might even work better though you can get like five ports in one yeah, dongle probably. maybe i actually have a i have one where it has like multiple usb ports but i don't know if it'll move the signal fast enough uh, but uh i know the usb type c you can but this won't this won't be able to this that's is, what the new macbooks this, yeah the new macbooks yeah so that, that port does everything it's like charging mm-hmm. and you can do everything move data at the same time oh yeah and another thing i wanted to talk about was uh, a video that we filmed yesterday the comparison video which i didn't put together oh, yet. oh yeah yeah so we, we recently shot another video it was basically about um a seven thousand dollar camera versus i think it was 1500 1700 bucks, um something like that. a 15 1400 dollar yeah. camera so we compared the canon 1dx mark ii to the canon 80d the reason why i wanted to compare them is because the quality from the wedding films that we shot, because he helps me, and he uses the ADD, and I was using the 1DX before I got the GH5S, um, and I couldn't even tell the difference. In daylight. You can tell the difference in daylight. In, in daylight. Well, yeah, but still. like His was, like, that's like, what, a $5,500 difference? For, day, for daylight. I mean, the Canon 1DX does do stuff that the Canon 80D doesn't, but when we're talking about just regular 1080p footage, 24 frames yeah. footage, like it looks exactly the same. The only thing that the Canon 1DX will do is the 120 in HD and the 4K60. And it uses CFast and Compact Flash, but that's a totally different so Everything's more money with the 1DX. Yeah. For and sure. the batteries. <laughs> yeah, everything. And mine's a full, that the 1DX is a full frame, yours is a crop. Mine's a crop sensor, yeah, lens. Which means the lighting should still be a little bit worse on his, which the the quality still looks. I got kind of pissed actually when I'm editing these wedding <laughs> videos because I'm like, this camera's worth more and his quality looks the same. Well, we'll have to let them decide on the side by side comparison. The video will come out soon. I just got the footage from him. We just got it t- transferred it over today. So but yeah, we're pumped. We don't even know how long these videos are going to be. These podcasts, yeah. maybe uh, roughly half hour. We're at 20 minutes now. 20 minutes. We're yeah. thinking 20, 25, 30 minutes maybe. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so basically, that's what we want to talk about is just like creating people who create, you know, like even like fitness athletes, anyone who is welcome, who anyone who's like started your own business. You can, maybe we can bring some brides and grooms in from weddings. Oh, That'd be that sick. would be a sick yeah. idea. Score us down. I know someone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're bringing someone. Okay. So an upcoming one? Wow, that was a that's a good one. Yeah, we get the experience of we're how we're bringing you people. We're bringing uh, all you guys. So you guys pay us, and then we bring you on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. That's like, another topic, yeah, that's or a, that's another podcast. Yeah, we there. got a whole bunch. We got a whole bunch. Actually, we can bring people who we shot. Yeah, we can do. That. Yeah, and ask them about the experience. I got uh, that one fitness guy who's down to do podcast. Uh, Phil, Phil, yeah, Phil or Phil. Shout out to Phil. You can bring Phil. Um, you can bring pick one out of. Who would you maybe uh, Tommy? 20. Tommy might want to come on. Petrus? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, yeah. Uh, um, there's a lot. Well, you've shot more. I've I'm only getting well, dabbling into now in the video jobs. Well, pitch pictures is like pictures. I don't know if it's worth it, but more maybe the video because the process of video is a little bit harder to set up. That that's a sick topic. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Actually, going. going we just got to get a different. We just put this together literally in like yeah today is twenty five thirty minutes. Yes. So we don't know if this is going to be the same setup when we get out of here. Probably not. Yeah. And we gotta it's going to work for this video just because we wanted to get this, the ball rolling. The ball rolling on this podcast. And we still got to come up with an intro. Uh, an intro, intro video. Name. We're going to be posting this on Instagram. So we're going to be getting topics. Um, if What people want to be talking about. Um, yeah. Well, going back to, um, I guess thousand no sorry seven thousand dollar camera versus fifteen hundred today i was watching a video on uh justin odisha did a podcast so i was trying to watch just justin odisha's podcast to get some inspiration and see how he attacks the podcast and he was interviewing brother the guys who do like travis scott videos oh, uh, weekend videos he talked to them he talked to them and they shot an idetis commercial in one take with an iphone what? i'm gonna show it to you after after this but uh it's see, that's that shit's it's sick. crazy so guys you don't even need like the best gear like you, you can don't. use whatever you have and like, that's why i did the seven thousand dollar camera versus yeah. the fourteen hundred dollar camera because yeah. like you can create the same crap you just have to know what you're doing with the camera you need good lighting and like i guess i guess if you're gonna do anything you would probably want a good software or everything like if you're gonna make a regular film, if you're gonna make a regular, I guess film. it can, can go off we're off topic here, but I guess it's almost like the same thing as personal training. Yeah, you know, like you might wanna you might wanna get a personal trainer who's jacked and all that stuff, yeah. but are they really good in what they're doing? What they're doing? You don't know. Like anyone can get jacked by lifting weights, but do you really know about the health, about how the body works? So that's we don't know. Of we, don't. <laughs> we don't know that stuff. We're not trainers. We don't look like trainers. We just eat. We eat tons of food. That's all pizza. we do. <laughs> yeah, pizza. I, I smashed pizza again this week. Oh my god. Today? No, no, not today. Uh, so me and me and, D, me and DJ were shooting yesterday, and we went to the village. Oh yeah. We got this bomb dessert. If you guys want killer dessert, cheese go chocolate drizzle to the cheesecake. village. Yeah. The village has the best dessert in Hamilton, Ontario. In Hamilton, it's down. It's on King Street. By um, what's that cut off there? I don't even know. It's on King Street. Just go down, like you're on. Centen- like, so if you go, if you're on Centennial, you're centen- turn left on King yeah. Street. Go all the way down, and it's on the left. If you're going up the mountain, before if you're going up south. um, what's that one restaurant there? The attic? No. The, it's before the attic. Or the powerhouse. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's right before the powerhouse. It's between the powerhouse and the attic. Honestly, if you want, go there. Get the cheesecake with chocolate and and um what was the one sir? chocolate and caramel drizzle chocolate and caramel Ooh. oh my god i want to go right now <laughs> okay we're done guys <laughs> yeah so i don't know i can keep talking forever we got you want to go okay let's go seven more minutes okay is that a half hour that'll be half hour yeah. okay we're guys we're gonna do a half hour podcast that's yeah that's it right we there. can we can do an hour ones too like just yeah. today i need water i'm already thirsty and Next time, coffee. It's it, it's like it's 11 p.m. right now, guys. 11 p.m. We're doing 11. this at night. I gotta take these headphones off. My eyes are yeah, no worries. Yeah, so my ears are sweaty. So you're going back to the topic of the the iPhone things. Like those guys did the the, the his oh I forgot to tell you his software is Final Cut Pro, the old Final Cut Pro. Oh, Final Cut Pro Seven. Seven. He has the Studio that's, Three. That one is the best one. Yeah, that's that's the one he uses. Uh, 
uh, he uses that. He goes, I can't use the new I, one. That's that's actually the program that I started off on. And he can't he can't even take 4K footage. No. He has to break the videos up into three different sections. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, I forget what their names. I um, started off and actually I started off with iMovie. No, iMovie is a cheaper version of Final Cut. Yeah, yeah. That's what I started. But I started with. off in Final Cut Studio three. What you get Final Cut, you get Apple, uh, 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 the Motion, and you get some other program. But Final Cut Pro, man, was the best thing there was. And then I recently switched to Adobe Premiere two years ago. And honestly, like, Adobe Premiere is... The color grading is crazy. Yeah, they're, they're both different in what they do, but Adobe Premiere is awesome. Yeah, I, I haven't used Final Cut. I probably would be super lost if I came to using that, so... I remember Final Cut Studio Three came in this huge box. Oh, you had to buy it and like install it on the disc. Well, I oh, I, was, I, I was able to download it. You didn't hear that, but <laughs> um, it came in like this huge box with like twelve CDs. Because when I was at Colonel Newman, I remember my contact teacher <coughs> had the box there, and I asked him if I can take it home and install it. Oh yeah. Yeah, he didn't let me. Oh no. No. Should just take it. Should just take I it. Know. But, oh. Well, I wonder what they're using now though. They probably switched to Adobe because ad- everyone's using Adobe. Yeah, Adobe. Well, they, it's sweet. All they have everything. Times. You know, you got the Lightroom for photos. You got the media encoder for encoding uh, codecs. Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop for manipulating photos. And Lightroom works with Photoshop. Um, and, yeah. And then you got, uh, well, you got the whole suite. The whole suite works. The whole suite. The whole Adobe suite, mm-hmm. which I'm thinking about probably purchasing the whole suite. Might as well just do the whole suite instead of just a few apps because pay more money just doing a few apps anyway. So, so yeah, guys. Uh, so we're we hope- are pumped to start this. We, uh, do you think we're gonna do two a week, one a week? Let's try. A, let's try a one a week at the beginning, and then uh, we'll work our way, our way to more. Like one I like every Tuesday kind of. or Wednesday. Yeah. No girlfriend. Well, for me, I'm single. But DJ is single, guys. He's single and ready to mingle. Ready to mingle. Just keep that in mind in case there's any females watching. He's ready to single, mingle, <laughs> on bingle. <laughs> on bumble. <laughs> no, that bingle rhymes. Bingo, bingo. We'll come up with a new uh, app called Bingle. Yeah. Is Andre coming or what? I don't know where he is. He takes forever. now. <laughs> probably got lost. Maybe. Maybe. Andre, I love you. But you probably did get lost. Shooter. What does he call you? Shooter. Shooter McGavin. So we recently just went to New York City for the PDN Photo Expo. And we all rented an Airbnb. And uh, we were cooking the one morning. And the girl's house, I guess she's got a maid who cleans the house. And she didn't clean the oven. Oh, no. Like the bottom. Because, you know, when you're cooking, food yeah, can like, drip down the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. The so grease and shit. we were cooking sausages instead of on the pan we put them in the oven they were maple syrup no sorry sausages maple syrup sausages yeah and then i went to go open it and all this freaking uh, (laughs) smoke came out and frank was freaking out it was actually funny um but the fire alarms were going off we had to open up all the windows but yeah it wasn't us i didn't hear about that story it was it was it was um that's Andre. Andre's here. Or it's the guy from the... So we had to uh, air out all, all the windows. Yeah. Should we uh, tell them... Should we just end it? It's 28 minutes. We're at 20 minutes. Yeah, minutes okay. Right? We'll end it right now. You guys, we're going to close it up right now. Like I said, first one, first episode of whatever we're going to call this. But uh, by the time this comes out, it will have an intro, hopefully, and a name. <laughs> we're we going to come up We're gonna come up with a lot of stuff, hopefully, by the next podcast. And by the next podcast, we're going to have someone sitting here. Um, Another guest. Who, we don't know who it's going to be. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're going to figure it out. And um, if, you're, if you want to come on, message us on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is by Peter DeBuslo. DJ's is... At D Grandoni. D-G-R-A-N-D-O-N-I. Message one of us if you want to come in. Um, you're more than welcome. We don't care what you do as long as there's a purpose of you being yeah, here. We need to provide some value and some content for this and uh, podcast. And we'll talk and we'll get creative and who knows, we'll probably be eating pizza. Yeah, actually, we and should. we should have coffee. But I'd Coffee and pizza. And pizza, yeah, yeah. And cheesecake. Chocolate Every podcast, cheese. we're going to be eating or drinking something. Oh, man, I'm going to get so fat. Eh? Yeah, I'm going to be... The that pond, would be fun. The pond's going to... You guys let us know what you want us to eat next week. Yeah, we're going to... We should get... Oh, no, we can't do Mondays. I'm saying Mondays can get margarita pizzas. 
at uh, Born and Raised, but we it's not takeout. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, guys, we're gonna end it here. We will see you guys next week on the next one. Yeah. Um and yeah, peace. Peace.